Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again, and this is going to be my second video for Bootstrap 3.1, which is the current version as of this recording. Uh, this time we're going to just discuss the grid system in Bootstrap 3 and how it compares to Bootstrap 2.3.2. So let's just get started. I'm going to start by dropping in a style into my uh, HTML page. Usually put this in CSS, but uh, just for this demo, I'm dropping it right here. And I'm going to set a default height on all divs to 100 pixels. And I'm also going to create some colored um, styles that I can apply to divs. Okay, so there's my colors. Uh, basically, I'm going to be creating some empty divs here, so I just set uh, the height to 100 by default, and I'm going to use some of these color tags to illustrate uh, how the divs look. So let's begin by starting out a, uh, a new grid. So in Bootstrap, uh, the grid is still uh, 12 spots wide, and you begin using it by dropping a, either just by starting a row, or in the case of what I'm doing here, I'm going to put it inside of a fluid container. The fluid container was introduced in 3.1 and it basically removes the border and uh, spreads everything out to, uh, to full screen. It might have been full screen before, but it definitely uh, removes that border from around your, uh, your rows. So I've got a container fluid which contains a row and inside of there I'm going to put, uh, well, I'll show you what I would have put before. So I would have had a div with a class of span1 and I'd have given it my red background there. So this is the old system where I would say use one span on the grid spot. That's been replaced basically by a system whereby you can set what, how many uh, grid spots or spaces you want each individual div to use based upon the screen size that's currently available. They have extra small, uh, small, medium, and large available to you. And the way that you use those is if you want to use extra small, then you're going to say call dash XS for extra small dash one. So I'm saying use one space on the grid for extra small screens. For a small screen, I can say call dash SM dash one. For a medium, call dash MD dash one. And for a large, call dash LG dash one. So for the purposes of this demo, I kind of want this to expand a little bit. So I'm actually going to tell it to use uh, a three. I want to use 12 on a small screen. So we'll use the entire row, uh, extra small. Uh, six on a small screen, three on a medium screen, and one on a large screen. So let's duplicate this a few times to build out our full row. Okay, so there you have it. I've basically created 12 uh, entries in this row. On an extra small screen, each one of these is going to use a full, the full width of the screen. On a small screen, then you'll see two blocks because I'm doing six. So it would go six, six, new row, six, six, new row. On a medium screen, they'll take, there'll be uh, four per row because it would be three, 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 which is 12, three, 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 which is 12. And then on a large screen, they'll each take up uh, one, span, one span on the grid. So it'll be just one row of 12 entries. So this just kind of highlights to you how Bootstrap has changed the way that they work. Um, it's responsive now from the very beginning. Responsive being it responds to the size of screen that you're viewing the page with. So uh, that's a whole bunch of talk. Let's see what it looks like in practice. So here I've opened up my HTML document and here's the grid that we built out. As you can see this is on uh, what I believe would be a small screen. Yeah, because there's each of these is taking up six grid spaces, which is half of our grid availability, so we see two per row. If I resize this down a bit, I'll eventually hit the threshold for extra small. So if I was looking at this on an, uh, a phone screen, uh, which has a smaller resolution, they would each get the 12 uh, layouts here which uh, spots or spaces, I'm not sure what to call them. So it would take up 12 spaces on the grid 
and that equals a full row. That's why there's one per row here. Now if I expand it, there we're back up to the six per row. If I keep going, you might not see the edge here, but you can see it change. There we've hit the three per, right? So this would be the, uh, the medium sized screen. And then as I expand it to eventually get a large screen, there it goes to one row with 12 entries on it. So that's the way the new grid works. It's responsive by design and responsive first. So um, how do you do things like offsets? Well, let's do those next. I'm going to create a new row here. OK, so what I've done here is I've changed all of these to always use one grid space so that no matter how I resize the screen, uh, you'll have a single row with 12 uh, different colors across the top. But I created another row beneath it which had uh, various different offsets. So let's examine this here. So it's going to be a red block. That one's obvious. For the extra small, it'll use one space. For the small size screen, it'll use one space. Medium, it'll use one space. And large, it'll use one space. Where it varies is that on the extra small screen, it'll be offset by 11 spaces. So it'll be at the very end. If you remember offsets from uh, Bootstrap 2.3.2, they allow you to skip X number of uh, grid spaces, in this case 11, and then render the div that you're working with. The same, as, same uh, system applies here, except that you have different uh, display sizes to set offsets for. So this will be offset by 11 on a small, extra small, offset by 8 on a small, offset by 3 on a medium, and offset by 0 on a large. So this will be kind of fun. It'll jump around the screen a little bit. So here's what it looks like now. Each one of these is one grid space as we described, and then there's a new row with just one div in it that has a space of 1. So what we're seeing right now is our small size, and I can tell that because the offset is 8, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's our block. If I expand this a little bit, we probably now hit the medium where the offset is three. And you can see one, two, three, and there's our block. If I keep going, there's our large size, which has an offset of zero. And as you can see, it's right there at the very uh, beginning of the row. Now if I resize this down, we've hit our extra small, which is an offset of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then there's our block. So that's how the offsets work and the grid system uh, within Bootstrap 3.1. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, if it has, please like, and uh, you can also subscribe to my channel for any future tutorials.